pulled away by Fleming. That's a good shot. Too short. And the New Zealand captain in confident mood. And he goes through the offside square. Another boundary. So a good start here by New Zealand. Picked it up. And oh, that's a great catch. What a super catch. And Fleming is gone. Even with the fast nature. Look how far in front Hodge has got himself. He's out of shot. He comes into shot. Very well balanced athlete. Had to leave his feet. Great set of hands. Stephen Fleming has it though. He's out for nine. 23 for one. Here he comes and he's got a snick on it and it's over the top. It was a wild slog and it's gone over the keeper's head. Many other Aussies I can think of would have got it. That's lobbed away and that's out. He's got a leading edge and Vincent goes. 34 for two. On the edge again. He's just turned the bat. Look at that carry off the edge of his bat. I can tell you Lou Vincent's bat has massive edges. I saw it earlier on today. He's on his way for 11. New Zealand two down for 34. Oh, he's lobbed it back and he's gone. Taylor deceived by Bracken. Caught and bowled. 38 for three. Perfect length. Taylor, look at me positive. Just too hard with the hands. Far too hard with the hands. But those were soft hands from the bowler. It was great century in the last game. It was out for 11. 38 for three. Well, he's got that first ball here. Pitched it up. Scotty Starr has went for the drive and it's straight through to Brad Hedden. Oh, I'm over. And, uh, I just put a little puff of dust with that landed. And it just went away from him off the pitch. Nice and full. New Zealand 41 for four. Jim Johnson to continue. Fulton pulls that away. They're going to go all the way. It's six. It's gone all the way. But he left on Sunday. That ball is almost a good length. Just fractionally short of a good length. That's that away. That might be fine enough to go for four. And it is. It's gone over the top. Extra cover. Four runs for Craig McMillan. Well, a bit of luck for Peter Fulton. He'll pick up a boundary. Oh, super shot. McMillan out over extra cover again. One bounce for four. If New Zealand uh, to go close today, it's be the start, the middle, and the finish. <laughs> nice drop kick, but it could be straight down the throat of Bracken. It's not. It's straight down the throat of that man there with a white hat, really, for big Peter Fulton. Beautifully timed and hoisted. Four more. Well, six and a four. A ten off for two deliveries. Just letting them off the hook a wee bit here. And again, this could be out though. No, nope. Bracken can't pull that one in either. I thought that when he hit it with a lower trajectory that uh, Bracken might be in business. Oh, that's a uh, poor bowling. Boy, oh boy. Going again over the top. Didn't quite get hold of it, but it's still good enough here on the small ground. Blow. Stand up and just deliver. But not only that, he's hit it straight down the ground off the back foot. And that is a mighty 50. I'm not in the same terms just yet, but that shot is unbelievable. It emphasizes the nature of the pitch. One of his life. Oh dear. It just didn't last. It needed to. It needed to go for another hour and a half. But uh, Watson has his revenge. New Zealand's fifth wicket in the process. Just couldn't quite get the timing. The bat skewed round in the hand somewhat. He was looking to hit it straight down in the, that area again. 51 for Fulton and double put time. It's 116 for five. Oh, yes. We're still on the power play. <laughs> and McMullen picks up his first big one. And this is a magnificent shot and a sensational catch. Just to add to the flavour of the evening. Holy cow, he's gone again. Just got that hip out of the way and said, uh, oh. <laughs> it's hitting today. I mean, if you're in the crowd, you go home disappointed from this, and you, I mean, I don't know, totally works maybe your, your thing. Straight three for four, shoddy fielding. I'm not sure uh, any bowler appreciates that on any day, but. Oh, where's that gone? Well, it's another four.
That's not good bowling when you've got no one back on the leg side boundary. That's just a long up waiting to be spanked. Here he comes. Smacks it away. That's four. That's 50. Oh. And he's dropped that a bit short. And uh, he put it right into the gap of the bowlers. Smashed. That's cleverly played. That might just about make it. It does. Well, that's a nice shot. And Johnson continues to be expensive. McMillan gives himself some room. It's a good over for New Zealand. Here he comes. Smashed it. Four more. Down the wicket. High, very high. When he hits them high, they normally go long as well. That's big. Four he moves to now when he gets a chance to free the arms and swing through the line of the ball. Down the wicket as he bowls 106. I think he has. Put your bat in the air, Craig McMillan. That is the fastest hundred in New Zealand one day history. What a blinder! Gladiator is back. It took seven years, but he's back with a vengeance. And he didn't know. He had no idea. It took Brendan McCullum to tell him that he scored 100 for McMillan to show this excitement and well played. Here it is, the shot that brought up the fastest one day hundred in New Zealand history. What an innings. Took him a while to work it out, I think he had to be told. Oh! Well this has gone very fine. It's such a fast outfit, don't chase it, you'll never catch it. Oh he's got a turn, he's got a turn, he's a big man! Well, McCallum, let's have a look. Well, the ball's coming back to Hogg now. McMillan dives. If it hits, he's gone. He's out. There it is. Well done, Craig McMillan. Look at that. 90 from 78. And he's got the hook shot out. And he's hit it well. Where's that gone? It's going to fall short. Oh. <laughs> Hooked away. Oh, magnificent. That is absolutely magnificent batting. Notice the way he got on top and he hit it straight into the ground. Well, that's another good stroke. Comfortable too. Yep. Just the one. I'll tell you what, so McCullum raises his back. And the Hamilton crowd are on their feet. And why not? Oh, oh. McCullum. Oh, brilliant. He's taken up the initiative here. I think McMillan's tied off the middle of the bat in the slot. He was always going down the ground. An outstanding stroke. Written 17 to his name. He's bowled him. He's gone this time. I think he played it on. I think he thought he may have got an inside edge to charge and lead them home. But the crowd will stand to an absolutely extraordinary innings. The fastest hundred ever by a New Zealander. James Franklin's entitled to go hard at this. He does. It's a wide one. And that was motoring. And the Blackhawks 285-7. No timing there really for Daryl Tuffy, but he just clears the circle. Brad Hogg was up inside. They'll get to. That's okay. Oh, that might go for four. In fact, it will. And out to luck. All of a sudden, it's quite a good over for New Zealand. 51 from 36. Straight down the ground for another six, another towering six. And 300 up for New Zealand. Country. The fullest ball, I was about to say, managed through his way through to 60. Without... Yeah! Well, it's taken. Now, Daryl Tuffy, I'm not sure, has uh, got a race off. Yes, he's been given. Very late, just enough. And that's all it takes to take the edge. I think that's fair enough. Fair enough, he's out for eight. 303 for eight. Oh, that'll go for four. Outside edge. It wasn't a great delivery. It was an attempted Yorker. And again, again, they might get two. 
Here Gilly Steele come back. What a big over. This has come from the unlikely hero. Oh, that's solid. That score. That's magnificent down the ground. It wasn't really there for the shot. Inside edge. Out of the screws. <laughs> look at the look on his face. Where did you get that from? In the middle. Quack and he's got it away. Can you believe that shot? You can't coach it. It's gold. And he's got it mastered. And he's done it. It wasn't bad. It was on target. He's just got down on it. Beautifully bowled. Beautifully played. They'll run. They have to hit. I don't know if Gillespie was really putting in here. He was taking his time. I think he's going to be caught short, is he? Yes, he is. He's still done a marvellous job. He's out for 28. He's out on the 339 for nine. Oh, they're going to go again. Oh, he picked it up. He had a chance to get McCullough. He fumbled. And the direct hit would have hit it. And then the, the other man came and picked it up. Did a marvellous back flip. Back flick. McCullum on strike. Could that be the turning moment? There's been some wonderful fielding. No. So Bracken, with all of his experience, will bowl it right up in the block hole. If he bowls it short, McCullum will hit him out of the park. And will he be patient to believe he can do it later in the over? Oh, that's bad. Bad for Australia. Great for New Zealand. He got it wrong. McCullum invented. He went outside off stump and he's hoisted him out of the ground. When he saw that go for six, McCullum, I think you'd almost see the adrenaline rush come out of his heart, almost popped out of his chest. He nearly fainted. The scores are tied, and the Aussies all have to come inside the circle now. They all have to crowd, and McCullum won't matter. He's got five deliveries to win this game through or over the field. Bracken, with all his experience, the pressure went on him, and he couldn't deliver the Yorker. It was knee high, and now it's buried in the crowd. So Hussey brings them all in. Here we go. Bracken. McCullum charges. He doesn't need it. He knows it. He's got time. Unbelievable. There's McCullum again on strike to Bracken. He gets it over the top. It's through for four. And New Zealand have done it again. Can you believe it? Yes, they can now. They're a bunch of believers. They can win it from anywhere. And the World Cup now could well be their stage. Look at Michael Hussey. He couldn't defend in Auckland. He can't defend here. He knows it's been an incredible performance. New Zealand down on strength. No Vittori, no Orem, no Bond. No, I don't know. How often is it McCullum was there at the end? How often in his role? a finisher of an innings. He's done more than finish this game. He batted through the middle and he brought it home. He is a wonderful performer. It's all smiles for, for Captain Stephen Fleming. McMillan, well, who would have thought McMillan in the last two games? The gladiator of 2000 and 2001 is back. He's on the stage. From four for 44, you just don't win in those situations, but they did unbelievably so, thanks to Peter Fulton's 51 from 40, McMillan's 117 from 96. What an innings that was. That gave New Zealand belief. And then, of course, who better to finish the deal? McCullum, 86 from 91.